this route. This is when we get ready to grab another mountain. We're at about 3,000 foot of elevation. It's the middle of May, and it is freezing cold outside. We're down in the 30s. We got a job to do over here in the lake, and it's going to be cold today. What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and we are headed up to the mountains. We're going up to about 35 feet, or I'm sorry, 3,500 feet of elevation. And we're actually going up to a place called Grandfather Mountain. It's one of the beautifulest mountains that we got here in North Carolina. They got a huge sky bridge that you can actually go up and hike across. But we're actually coming up here for a diving related job. They've got a private pond at a golf course up here that they're trying to get a water intake system uh, installed in. And they've got the intake there or the pump system but they can't get the pipe installed. And that's what we're actually gonna be doing for them. And then we also have to close off an old intake system that's down in inside of a pump house. So I'm gonna actually have to repel down inside this water intake system to close off this system for them. But we got a lot of work ahead of us. It is cold today and it's actually kind of eerie cold because we're in the middle of May or soon to be the middle of May and it's 30 some degrees outside. It was snowing uh, when I left the house or when I got up here this morning, it was still snowing a little bit. So we're about a mile away. So I'm gonna hop off here. We're gonna get started and I'll actually commentate through this video for you just to show you what we're doing and give you a better understanding. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And at the end of this, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about doing public safety diving and underwater search and recovery and underwater salvage work, because we get a ton of people asking, hey, I'm a certified diver. Can I come out and help you do this? And the answer is always gonna be a, a no, because you're still not properly trained. Just because you're a certified diver does not mean you're properly trained to do what we do. So with that being said, let's jump in today's video and then I'll give you some thoughts throughout it and then I'll give you some final thoughts as well at the end. All right guys, so here we are at the beginning of the dive and we're just doing our gear checks really quick, making sure our camera's good, making sure our air's turned on, making sure all our gear's where it needs to be. As you can already tell, the visibility is not very good. Now we're actually diving the lake part of this uh, job first and our job is to install a water intake system. Now it's actu actually already down in the water. Our job is to connect the main pipe that goes from the pump house out to the actual pump itself. This pipe is approximately about 400 yards. Um, it's, or I'm sorry, 400 feet long, so it's a little over 100 yards long. Um, and it's very, very dense plastic or polymer, if you will. So it's probably about a 10 inch pipe. You'll see here, there's several different pipes that we've got to go underneath to get out to where the new intake's gonna be. Uh, but you can see kind of what the pipe's gonna look like. It's very, very dense. It's probably 10 to 12 inches in diameter and probably, if I had to guess, maybe an inch thick um, as far as the, the wall of it. But here we're just going under the first two pipes and it just kind of gives you a better idea of what our visibility conditions are like, uh, what we're actually dealing with here. Um, but now we swim out to the intake. Uh, you can see our support boat here. And our first job is just kind of orient ourselves underneath the water with the pipe. Uh, and the intake itself, the coupling system that we're going to be um, ratcheting together, if you will. So I'm just going down here just to do a quick inspection to see what it looks like, to see what I can see, and then we'll formulate a plan after that to actually install everything. Um, there you can see the coupling itself or the check valve of the intake. Uh, you'll see there's a bolt already sticking there with a gasket. We've got to make sure that that gasket gets uh, properly seated uh, between the pipe and the check valve itself. Um, so here I'm just getting a good visual reference uh, and even a physical reference just to understand what it is I'm working with. And then as we surface, we'll formulate a plan and drop back down and start reinstalling. I do want to make it clear, if you're not certified to do dives like this, maybe you're, you're an open water diver, you may even have 100 to 200 dives under your belt, uh, but if you're not certified to do stuff like this, don't go out there and risk your life. Um, I know a lot of you guys 
have asked, how do you get training for this? Uh, there's a lot of great commercial dive schools that you can go to um, to, to be able to do work like this. Um, but here we're formulating our plan. We're getting our... Uh, getting our plan put into place here, getting the tools that we need, getting the bolts, uh, and then we're going to drop back down and start to assemble the coupling uh, system on the pipe and on the intake or the check valve of the intake. Um, so the first thing we've got to do is actually line up the pipe with the coupling or line up the coupling of the pipe to the check valve of the intake. I'm going to put a bolt through. Uh, we're going to put the bolt not only through the coupling or the edge of the pipe, we're also going to be putting it through uh, the gasket that's there too because that gasket's very important. Now, this company is not going to be able to suck water out of the lake through their intake if it's not sealed properly. Um, so here you can see I'm trying to get a bolt in, I'm trying to get the gasket placed in or get the bolt placed through the gasket as well. And what we're having to do is actually maneuver the intake around. It's actually neutrally buoyant right now because of the, um, the lift system that they've got installed on it. So we're trying to maneuver it around because it's actually easier to move than the pipe itself. That pipe's 400 feet long and it's very, very difficult to move underwater. So we're moving the uh, intake itself instead of the pipe. Here you can see we're pulling the pipe into position and we're gonna get the first bolt through. Uh, once we get that first bolt through, we'll go ahead and secure it about 50% uh, with a nut on the back of it, and then we will slowly start turning the uh, pipe into position and making sure that the gasket stays good and flat and make sure that the bolts go not only through the coupling system but also through the gasket as well. We do have an extended bolt here that we're not going to actually be using. We're just using it to help us kind of pry and to, uh, twist the pipe into position of where it needs to be. Um, you'll notice that there's some things hanging down. That's the strap system for the uh, lifting barrels. And so there, there's some entanglement hazards here. We are in an overhead environment, even though we're an open lake. We have the lift device. We have this 1,000-pound intake that we're installing for them. So there is some overhead environment. There's some entanglement hazards. Once again, it leads into, please make sure you're properly trained before you get out there and do dives like this. But here you can see we've got uh, the bolt through the top, through the gasket and we're just going to temporarily secure it. We've got eight to put in, so as we're putting these all the way in, then it's kind of like putting a tire on your vehicle or a new wheel on your vehicle. We're going to tighten them, say top to bottom, left to right, corner to corner, just to make sure we get it secured all the way around. Um, but here you can see we're putting in another bolt. And visibility is is decent for us, even though it's bad in general, it's pretty decent right where we're at. We do have extremely high powered lights. Uh, assisting us here um, and of course the cameras that we're wearing is directly on our mask so we're right up against this device that's why we can see it so well that's why you guys can see it so well here we're getting another bolt placed in and then we're going to go through and we're going to tighten them up and to end this video out we're going to be doing something that I definitely is not I'm not going to recommend you guys getting out there and doing without proper training of course but we're going to be going to the opposite end of this pipe into the pump house itself and I'm going to be climbing down or more or less be repelling down if you will down into a well system and the original intake um, has to be closed off. So here I'm fixing to climb down into the well, the original intake, and we actually have to close it off. I'm going to be putting a balloon valve up inside the, um, the intake and they're going to be expanding out. They're going to put air in and expand it out because the new intake is going to be connected on top, not at the bottom of this well. So here I'm down in the well. As you see, it's confined space as well. Um, but I'm going to be climbing down into the well, and since that little hole that you see there was too big to get through with gear, I had to climb down into it, rappel, and they had to actually lower my gear down to me. Now, I want to stress this enough. Don't go out there as an open water diver and try to do this. I do have confined water space training, um, confined space training through the fire service, mm, uh, whatever it is you want to call it. but. There are so many entanglements. I'm actually standing on the internal part of that intake. This well is about 16 foot deep, and then the water goes down another 10 foot below that. So this is about a 26 foot well, 
And so I'm going to have to navigate the part that I'm standing on and go down in it. Um, very similar to what a cave diver would have to do. So, you know, if you're an open water diver, you want to do stuff like this, go out and get properly trained. Do not attempt to do this on your own. Uh, but once I get my gear on, they're actually going to lower in the, um, the balloon valve that I'm going to shove up into the original uh, intake hole and then they'll expand it out. I'm just taking my time, making sure everything's good. There you can see the balloon valve is coming down. Um, and then what I'll do is actually descend underwater. Now, unfortunately, I didn't take a camera with me into the hole, so you're not going to see that. But basically, all I did was just drop down about another 10 feet, shoved it up in the hole as far as I could, at least arm's length, come back out of the hole and let them inflate it. Then I went down to inspect it to make sure everything was good. And then, of course, I climbed up out of the hole. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you got any questions on any of the things you've seen in the video, do me a huge favor and make sure you drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer those questions the best I can. In our next video, I'm going to be showing you how I personally clean my regulators and talk about some of the myths about cleaning regulators because what I just got out of is very nasty water, if you will. It was very mud-filled water. Uh, there was a lot of rust and a lot of other bad bacteria down in that well system, so I'm going to be making sure that I get my equipment good and cleaned up. I've got to get it unloaded, but I will be making a video on how you actually clean a regulator properly. Um, but once again, I can't stress this enough. If you're not properly trained to do diving, uh, whether it's salvage diving, public safety diving, underwater criminal investigation, search and recovery diving, whatever it may be, please go out and get proper training to do this. My staff, there's certain things that my staff can't do simply because they're not trained up. As they get trained up, then we allow them to do a little bit more and more. But please get out there and get proper training before you try to do dives like we do um, because we show you our videos for entertainment purposes and more importantly for educational purposes we don't want you guys getting out there and doing what we do if you're not properly trained it's going to be way too dangerous for you and there are things that you don't see us do on camera because we just simply don't want you seeing it. it is way too dangerous even sometimes with proper training sometimes we have to make that call um, that we don't want to make and that's to either do or not do the job obviously but there's sometimes we have to take it beyond our limitations um, to get the job done and we're definitely not going to be showing that on camera for you guys like i said these videos are for entertainment purposes but more importantly they are for educational purposes and that's what we want you to take away from this because i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did smash that thumbs up button for me definitely share it as well like i said stay tuned i'm going to be producing a video on how i properly clean my regulators and show you some tips and tricks and even be going over some of the miss about you know what you should and shouldn't do when you clean your regulator system so with that being said guys i really enjoyed you coming on this dive with me once again if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business